Hey everyone, David Shahada here, Real Estate Investing Finance. Guys, as a property investor, the number one thing that's important to know is your numbers when you're buying your property. It's understanding what's gonna come in and also understanding what costs you're gonna incur. Guys, I'm gonna run you through your seven top costs as a property investor. Number one, you've got interest costs, what you pay to the bank. Number two, you've got council rates that you need to pay. Number three, you've got water rates. Number four, we're going to have some repairs to the property that may need to be done, so you want to factor in a buffer for that. Number five, the property may be vacant from time to time, so you want to allow for those um, costs that your property is going to incur while you're not getting a rental return. Number six, you've got to insure the property, so you've got some insurance there. And number seven, we've got property management when you're renting the property out. And that's having a licensed agent look after the property for you on your behalf. They're the top seven expenses you have as a property investor. Guys, it's so, so, so important that you understand your numbers when you're doing your feasibility and buying a property so you understand how the property is going to help you long term and what it's going to put in your pocket bottom line and what's going to come out as well. Guys, if you're looking to invest in the property market in 2021, there's never been a better time. We encourage you to get in contact with our team. We run all these numbers for our clients to ensure they understand their numbers, why they're doing it and what their end goal is. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you all soon. Cheers.